Hello folks, my big bro Ali and myself, we do casual trekkings together. Ali has recently summited Kilimanjaro, the roof of Africa which stands at 5895 meters. He is an alpinist. My highest peak so far is Mount Fuji of Japan, only 3776 meters. Now, Ali bro is encouraging me to level up and try something higher than 5000 meters. Another Friday, another mountain. It's Friday day. Also, where are we going? Sunday, what? Uh, this time we have a very, very special mountain, higher than Fuji, and that mountain is called Ararat, which is located in Turkey. Let's go. And the Turkish name is Arda. Yeah. Arda, a mountain of pain. Let's do it. The new challenge was set: Mount Ararat in Turkey, a holy mountain for different religions. The Noah's Ark is believed to be sitting on this mountain, but we are going there to summit the peak, not to find the Ark. We flew from Tokyo to Istanbul, then to Dobeyazd, the closest city to the mountain. We spent the night in the city at Two Ararat's Kenan Hotel before kicking off to the mountain. The adventure starts, the shuttle bus takes us to the foot of the Mount Ararat. We opted for fast climbing, usually people spend 5 nights on the mountain, but our plan was 3 nights. After staying at hotel, we moved to camp 1. The next day, camp 2 at 4200 meters. Then we start moving to the summit at midnight, reach the peak, and then return to camp 1. Then, to the city center. We chose a private tour. Aman, Ali, and Sherpa Ibrahim, who is our guide as well as the cook. Porters will transport our extra bags, food, water and other necessary items on horses while we trek with the Sherpa Ibrahim. Those three blues are the toilets, right? The bathrooms. Here we have two lovely shower room. kitchen that's where me and Ali were staying in that tent it's a beautiful one I was expecting to have some tents like those ones but apparently this is a cool one eh? yeah and uh, that's how our room looks like also you like the room yeah the, the best way. the best tent in at this camp Yep, it's very warm inside. No electricity, of course. And, uh, I love the beds. Beds are good. Yeah. We have the. It's elevated. It's elevated, of course. And you have the the very soft mattress good on mattress, top. Yeah. Yep. And we put our sleeping bags. Also, what are drinking? It's it's a um, instant miso soup. <coughs> miso soup. Japanese miso soup, huh? It's very nice. And uh, yeah. Ali is enjoying his tea at the kitchen. He's Sedat. Sedat with the girlfriend. Yeah. And Chef Ibrahim. Ibrahim, yeah. He's Very cooking good. our dinner. What time? What time do we eat? So, so what time? Sat kaç'ta yiyoruz? 
Saat kaç? 6-6.30. 6-6.30. Yani tamam. Güneş de battı ya. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> It is dinner time. Uh, what do we have, Alisan? Uh, soup made by chef, our leader. Uh, well, lentil soup. Lentil soup. We have rice in it. Yeah. Anyways, he made it very good. Bir caman balasındasın ki şiii It's almost nine o'clock. We're already in our sleeping bags. Man, it's cold. And it's only camp one. Camp two is worse than here. It's second day. We have the breakfast. Day two starting. <laughs> Aqui fora. Mas Ah, remove my shoes. Ah, oh, feel so good. So good. Good breeze. Mm. Now, now that part is Iran. That part is Iran. This mountain, and there's a road going to Iran, and that's the border. There are our porters, our backpacks, in the yellow thing. Yes. Sedat! Camp 2! Hasan, check Camp 2. Usually, this night before the summit night, Last camp is coming, maybe less like a thousand meters, a thousand meters. But it's very windy, and it's very windy, and it's a very normal mix. Afternoon tea time at camp two, eh? Camp two. Slightly a big. Tea time. Oops, Nap time. Here is Alisan with his earbuds and eye blinders. Those are quite essential because it's quite noisy with the wind and also there will be some people like trekkers, hikers passing by. Okay, we are having a nap before the dinner. Behind me is the small Ararat, you see there? This is 4200 meters and the peak of the Ararat is in cloud. It's covered in clouds. It's 6 p.m. Dinner time, dinner time. He's doing the arrangement for the crampons. We'll use them when we get closer to the summit. And these, these are must. Because like when we get closer to the summit, it's icy. It's snowy and icy, right? It's uh, 6 o'clock in the evening now. We had our dinner. 
it's time to get prepared for a night summit. We need to sleep. We need to sleep, wake up, get our yeah. backpack, and right upstairs. It's 12 30. We are we're going to have a breakfast now. Breakfast, having breakfast before the summit. There's our son. Here's Ibrahim Bay. Okay, we are locking the tent and departing. We see some lights over there, some people already started. Let's go. We're almost there. It's not the peak. The peak is over there. There's already some clouds. On the horizon you see the sunrise. But we are climbing from the south. So we won't be seeing sun soon. Unless we summit. Yeah. Whew, it's cold. Ali was experiencing a severe headache and he threw up three to four times. Although he was a few hundred meters away from the summit, for his safety he had to descend. Sherpa Ibrahim and Ali started climbing down to the camp too while I continue my journey to the peak. I joined a new team with the Sherpa's reference. Groups already started returning. Just reached the summit. Unfortunately, all the sun is not here. But, man, thank you, all the sun. You encouraged me to come here. I made it for you and me. This is the iconic 
iconic point and also the iconic peak is over there Okay. Yep. Time to go. Woo. I'm inside the my silhouette is inside the rainbow. This is scary. I'm going down but it's invisible. I keep going down and hope to find someone. Oh, I see. I see people com coming up. That means I'm on the correct track. I'm in the correct way. I'm in the right way, so I should be moving that way. Crazy. This is still better because I can see like 10 meters away. I heard there can be like dark black clouds where you cannot see like close distance at all. So this is good. This is a good sign. I see two people coming up. Oh, another good thing is I should try to find a trail like this, like it's slightly different from this regular crust. Those are like icy snows, but here you see the crampons made some footprints and special. Uh, what's that texture? For pattern, right? So I'm on the right way. Oh, I see more people there. Good morning. Happy best. Thank you. Hello. Hello, good luck. Yeah, almost there. Hey guys, good luck, almost there. Crampons are out because the snowy and the uh, icy part is kind of over. From now on, it's gonna be much better. So, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my hot tea and then move down. Of course, it's freezing cold, so I cannot use my water system. I can't drink from this. As you can see, it's frozen. Yeah, up there is darker. Cloudy, foggy, there's smaller earth. It's clear down there, so I hope there's no reason to get lost. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, wow, guys. Hey, Ali. Dawai. Bye bye. Ibabi, let's go. Let's go. That's the camp one. Quite close, maybe another 45, 60 minutes or something. And I see like a group of horses and the porters coming. Ali should be there. How is it going? Daijabu? I'm not here. 
Express, Express. I've arrived at Camp One. There's the there's a car that will pick up Alison. I think we will be returning to the city center as quick as possible. I didn't. I went up to 5,000. That was plus 137 elevation. It was cold, huh? It was very cold. I was sick. And yeah, sometimes you have failures. There's something that you need to acknowledge it. I completely lost my voice. So the things that will be just taking out videos and pictures. Mr. Feta from Two Ararat Company prepared as a delicious barbecue and presented us with the certificates to acknowledge our achievements. That is the end. Hello, uh, my name is Feta and I am local people and uh, I do organization for climbing Mount Ararat and uh, there is uh, we have uh, two guests one from Mongolia one from Kyrgyzstan hey yeah and uh, they are with our company to Ararat company and they are with us climbing Mount Ararat and that's a Mount yeah. Ararat over there thank you sir congratulations take it please there Easy. you go Aman san congratulations there you go, Aman Tabarak, the one who actually made the successful summit. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ali. <laughs> Ali from Kyrgyzstan. Me and uh, time to fall Ali. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I've got Come a certificate Ali. too. Though I didn't summit, <laughs> I didn't make the summit. I came down from a uh, level of 5,000. But you did down. your summit in your heart. It was your In my summit. heart. <laughs> yes. Alison's an experienced mountaineer who inspired me, who yeah. he's the one who brought me to Ararat. Yep, thank you very much. Okay. This thing happened to Mr. Fatah and his company and his thank team you. who made me and uh, Aman to go up there. We have a beautiful experience. That was beautiful. Thank yep. you very much. Thank you. Bye.